There's been a long effort to protect the Great Bear Rainforest. It's a magnificent place. There's big cathedral forests and salmon runs and bears and wolves and orcas. But it's also home to the Heltzuk people and many other First Nation tribes. And the Heltzuk are one of the oldest cultures in North America. They've been here for something like 10,000 years in this spot. We've always lived here and we're always going to live here. We don't make sense anywhere else in the world. This, this is our place and we have a responsibility to take care of it. Our culture and our land and our territory are one and the same. They're so tightly connected with each other that you can't have one without the other. And you take one away and then the other one will suffer. The Heltzik people really, to me, represent hope. Here's a nation that's faced a grim reality of abuses and problems over the last hundred years. At earlier points in our history, our people were much greater in number. After first colonial contact, our numbers plummeted to less than 200 people. We're still in a place now where we're bouncing back in terms of population, in terms of capacity to be out on the landscape, harvesting our traditional foods and managing our, our lands and resources. They've chosen to protect vast areas of their traditional territory, you know, millions of acres, because they understand that they can't have a healthy community without a healthy environment. Their culture is literally rooted in these places. It's in the trees, it's in the water, it's in the fish. What makes us cohesive as a people and as a culture is not that our practices have been the same for the last 10,000 years, but that our values have been the same and that we've interacted with the landscape based on much the same principles for all that time. Our ancestors would only take so much from a certain spot. They wanted the resources to remain intact for future generations to enjoy. Those teachings have been passed on to generation to generation to only take as much as you need and not take too much, otherwise you may damage the stock of whatever you're harvesting. But we wanted to protect the landscape in all its vibrancy so that it remains healthy into the future. And to do that, we have to see a re-emergence of these First Nations as the stewards of the land. I think these tribes, and especially the Heltsa, are ready to step up and take on that challenge. The community is in a much stronger place than it's ever been in my lifetime in terms of holding the authorities accountable for taking care of the places that matter to our people. We've developed some really amazing tools and models that allow us to make decisions uh, as a nation and to take care of those places. We're developing research and monitoring programs that are generating information that's driven by HealthSick questions and HealthSick values, that's generating the data that we need as a nation to answer our management questions. This beautiful landscape that we love is dependent on a healthy culture here with the HealthSick. So they make the absolute ideal best conservation partners. You know, when you believe in what you're doing, it's easy to inspire other people to believe in it too. And I think we've been really fortunate that way. There's this really natural urge in people here to want to be close to place.